Today I am continuing um, some videos from a box that I received from Artist Concepts. So just a little background. Um, I reviewed a couple of Artist Concept alcohol markers in the past. Um, I had picked them up in Burlington on clearance and the brand reached out to me and generously offered to send me a box. Um, they have not asked for a review of any sort. Um, but because I like to swatch videos, so you have an idea how things work, I decided to swatch these, uh, markers. I have a previous video where I showed a much smaller, not much smaller, a smaller set, um, and gave my thoughts on that one, um, in comparison to the original markers I had swatched, I think maybe six months ago. Um, so I'm going to talk about these today, um... I'll do my first impressions. We'll see how it goes. Um, and um, yeah, that's about it. So real quick, um, this is the Artist Concepts 24 Count Double Ended Alcohol Marker Set with it in the portfolio case. Um, the markers have a broad and fine tip. They have fine pigment ink. They're archival quality and they're supposed to be easy to blend, ideal for illustration. Um, this set, I don't know if there's gonna be carry over from the other set that I swatched. There may be some similar colors, I don't know. Um, the last set I did was a primary color set. So I'm just looking really quickly at the colors. Um, I don't know if we're, I see a chocolate is a repeat and probably the black is gonna be a repeat, but um, I'll point out any of the markers that are repeats so that you'll know to look for if you don't need to look for both sets. Um, like I said, I originally bought the Artist Concept markers from Burlington. They were on a clearance. Um, I'm assuming that you can find these kind of markers in discounters like Burlington, TJ Maxx, uh, Marshalls, or whatever is similar in your area but I'm gonna reach out to the brand and see if they have you know, a link or anything um, about where you can find their products and I'll put it below. All right, so let's take a real quick look at these. So I'm just gonna pull one out. So similar to the other sets, like I said, they have a broad tip and a fine tip. Um, both sides are colored, so only way you could differentiate is by looking at the barrel. These are a square barrel. Um, some people like square barrels because that means they don't roll away. Uh, I'm conflicted on them because sometimes they do make my hands hurt. So that's also something to keep in mind. Um, so the markers have colors and number names. Number names. They have, they have name. Well, look at me. They have numbers and names. That's what I meant to say. Um, so that um, you can identify them. I'm sure they follow some basic, some standardized numbering system. I need to research that. If I can figure that out, I'll put it below um, because this has come up before in other marker videos I've done. Um, so that is your way of identifying the color. It is on both sides, which I love. I love, I love pens and markers and pencils that give you names and numbers because I may not remember what 97 is, but I might remember Rose Beige. So I love when they give you both. Um, what else can I mention? I'm, I'm trying to think of what I should mention moving on. If this holds true to the other set that I swatched, I will say it's really important to build out a swatch chart because sometimes the colors inside the barrel don't match the color on the cap exactly. We'll figure that out as we're swatching, but I just wanna highlight that sometimes that happens. So having a swatch chart is always important for any of your markers, pencils, pens, whatever. So let's get out my notebook. We'll organize these and we'll swatch them and then I'll come back and tell you my first impressions.
is all 24 colors in this set. So first things first, I actually like this set. Um, I think the colors are pretty vivid. Um, so like color wise, I do like the selection here. Um, things I would highlight. Um, there are some dupes across the primary set. So grass green, dark green, black, and chocolate are also in the primary set, but that's it. For some reason, I got two black markers. I don't know, but I swatched them both so <laughs> to see if there was consistency across both markers. Um, so I'm not quite sure why that happened. Um, I do think there's some interesting colors here, like the cerulean blue, the mint um, green light. Um, the marigold, the cherry pink is interesting because I'm not really getting pink from it. I'm getting red, um, like a very, very cool red. Um, but again, I, and the wine red is interesting. Um, again, I would suggest doing a swatch card, a swatch sheet for these because, for instance, pastel violet um, is definitely pink. Um, but the cap is definitely purple. So, yeah, definitely... Um, would be a good idea to keep a swatch card so you know what colors you're dealing with. Um, so uh, things I like, definitely the color selection here. Um, I mentioned this in my previous video that they feel a little different than um, typical alcohol markers that I've used in the past. Um, the brand said that they use a particular type of alcohol that's better for an environment. I'll insert a little image here about that um so they i think the way i mentioned it in my other video was that i said um they're a little denser than my other alcohol markers i know that sounds weird but um the flow of them is a little bit different so that's something to keep in mind um I would say the thing I don't like about these, and I mentioned it in my other video, is that um, the fine side pulls a little bit, so you have to adjust your stroke um, when you're using them or the ink will pull up. Um, I was a little more aware of it, so you don't notice it as much here as you would in my other video, but you can see it here in my four where there's a dot at the beginning. Um, so, and you can also notice like, and the four here and then you can see how thick the letters are so it's not super fine um so that's something to keep in mind um i didn't notice any smell at all with these i remember that was a problem in the past um i'm wondering though um if my original review the markers were just really really old or if um, Artist Concepts has changed their formula a little bit um, to make that smell go away because I remember it was pretty strong and I'm not getting it at all in these markers. Um, I don't think there's much else to say. Um, I think last time I blended two greens. What do I want to try blending today? Um, Let's see, let's try the rose um, beige and chocolate. So um, I put like a dark color down um, and then took a lighter color and just kind of rode over it. So, um, and just kind of blend it out to the side. I did see some blending possibilities. Of course, I'm using colors that are very close to each other, so you probably can't see it as well. But I did see some blending possibilities with these. Um, and like I said, I, I mean, like I do smell something, but it is definitely not the smell I remember from last time. I don't have the original markers in the white um, cases that I reviewed months ago. Um, I did pass them on, which is what I normally do when I review something and I don't really like it. I just pass it on to someone else who I think may get some use out of it. Um, so I don't even have those to compare them to, but, um, 
I mean, at first glance, I think these these are okay. Um, and like I said, I will try to find some information about where you can buy them. Um, I know in my original video, a couple of people said that they had seen them and their local discounter and they wanted to know more. So I'll try to see if I can get more information if anybody is interested in actually looking out for these. I'm gonna add these to my alcohol marker collection and play with them a little bit more. Um, and um, I think that's about it. Um, I do have some other items, some artist concept um, that I'll probably be filming in the future. I won't be um, doing any comparisons because they are not alcohol markers. So I'll just be doing first impressions as is um, when I get to those. Um, but um, as always, thank you for spending time with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.